with Experience the Quilt. I wanted to share a quick tip about fusible webbing today with you. If you're interested in knowing about different types of fusible webbing, you can check out my blog at experiencethequilt.com and I talk about several different kinds and their pros and their cons. Today though, I'm talking about my favorite fusible webbing. I've played around with it on and off for years, but I've really fallen in love with it this year. Number one, because I was making a quilt that had lots of layers of, um, of fabric. And so when I quilted it, it left little holes and I didn't like that. So Misty Fuse doesn't do that. It is so light and so airy. It's just literally the glue webbing. So you can purchase this at almost any quilt shop. I think even like the big box stores carry it, but it comes in sheets. Um, I wanted it for a big project, and so I bought it by the roll. This is a 20-inch wide roll. You can buy it in different widths at mistyfuse.com. Um, so that the main reason I love that is, is because of the lightness, and it doesn't leave holes or gum up your needle. So I wanted to share this little tip. I am doing a big, like, two yard cut of fabric because I have a really big piece of fabric that I'm appliquing onto my quilt. So if you can tell, this part, I've already cut um, a long piece of like probably 30 inches, maybe even 36 inches off of my roll. I've placed it on here and ironed it. And so it's all, that piece is already almost all ironed down. Okay, so I have cut off about a 30 inch piece of my Misty Fuse off the roll. That's about 20 inch wide roll. And I laid it on my wrong side of my fabric. I, a great companion tool to have is a silicone sheet. This is a really extra large one. I bought it from the Bone Ash Company at my local quilt show. And I have just loved it because I have smaller ones, but they don't cover as much area. So you're moving and sliding a lot, which is fine. It works. But for large areas like I do with my quilts, this is a great size. So what I've done is, I don't know if you can tell, but I have already pressed down the width of this sheet on my fabric. So it's that much is pressed. Well, my width, this is not 20 inches wide, like the width of my roll of my Misty Fuse. So there's a little bit extra. Once it is ironed and it's cooled off a little bit enough for you to touch, it's, it's important that you, I'll show you that in just a minute. So I peeled it off. Now I have a strip of about four inches here of Misty Fuse that's not pressed down. So I'm going to now, I took another, I needed a, I needed wider than the 20 inches and I didn't, I don't have that. So I cut another strip of Misty Fuse and I cut it in half. So I cut the a length of it and then I cut that length in half because I didn't need another 20 inches of Misty Fuse. I needed like 10 more inches. So I'm cutting that and I'm overlapping it just a little bit. Actually, you don't even need to overlap it because if I have a little piece that doesn't have the glue, it's not a big deal because I'm quilting this down like crazy. So I'm not doing little pieces, I'm cutting big pieces. So it's okay that I don't overlap, but you can and it doesn't make it bulky. So I've got my Misty Fuse laid out there and I'm laying out a second piece. So I've got three different pieces just kind of laid out next to each other. And this stuff just irons up great. Um, trying to get my fabric all straight here. So I've got it hard to do when I'm trying to reach, sorry. And it's a warm, sticky day in here, so everything's sticking to me. <laughs> so I've got my Misty Fuse down. Now I'm just going to lay this silicone piece over top and with my hot iron that keeps turning off, <laughs> I just move it across, okay? And I just move and move across until it heats up enough that it is stuck and glued down, which it takes a minute because I'm, I should move a little slower. You don't need to move quite that fast. The company suggests you move your iron um, rather than just holding it. Whatever cell, um, fabric adhesive you use, you should read the instructions because all of them are different. Some need to be held, some need a lot of steam, some do not. Um, but I, another reason I like Misty Fuse is it doesn't put off chemicals. Um, there are other 
companies out there that have fat adhesives where they are adhered to paper with chemicals and Misty Fuse is not, it's just the glue. So I like that. So now I pull it off and if I see, oh, some of it didn't glue down. Okay, I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna lay that back down and I'm gonna go a little bit longer. I'll just run it over a little bit more. So I make sure that it's glued down. I haven't burnt yet. <laughs> I would imagine you probably can burn it, but I haven't done it yet as I have just kind of keep it moving. And it usually works best if you pull off from an edge that's really glued down nice. So like, oh, I missed a little bit there. I really just kind of have to look. And it, it does require a pretty hot iron. My, at least my iron, I don't feel like is as hot as other irons. I have, a, I have a friend's iron that I've been using for projects and her iron is really hot. So, but see, I just peel this back and it is now, oh, see there's little spots that aren't down. You can kind of tell when it's really glued down well, it turns shiny rather than webby looking. Okay, so I finished with getting the Misty Fuse on all the fabric that I needed for the size of my pattern. So you can see I have a really large pattern. With the Misty Fuse, it's nice because you can work from the front. You don't have to worry about reversing anything. So I have got this very large piece. So I'm actually gonna use it kind of like you do with clothing and I'm gonna pin it to the top and cut it out and then just put it on and put it on my background and I'll iron it again. If I want it to just hold in place, I just, where instead of having to use pins, I use my iron and I just touch it really quickly on the background where I want the fabric to go and it will, it's like it's pinned. And if I need to reposition it, I can pull it off and reposition it. So that is a really handy tool that I have really loved. Hopefully you enjoyed this tip and you try Missy Fuse out too. Um, Experience the Quilt is a quilt company where we finish quilts for you. If you have a quilt that's in your closet or in your studio, just waiting to be quilted up, we would love to finish it for you. Send it to experiencethequilt.com, experiencethequilt.com, and be sure to like and subscribe. See you soon.